How's it going everybody, it's Zero Shin here. So today I have a uh, Nintendo Switch case to show you that I found on Amazon. And it's the uh, TomTok uh, Nintendo Slim case I think it was called. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but uh, yeah, I got it for 20 bucks and it came in this nice uh, little plastic wrap here. What really stood out to me with this case was um, it's very thin. But it's also a hard shell case. Yeah, so here's the case itself. I got the uh, the gray one, but there is also a black one available. I just thought the gray looked a lot nicer, though. And, yeah, it actually feels really nice. Uh, there's the TomTok symbol right there and the, the cutouts for the buttons and the analogs. And you have two zippers here, so it's a really nice zipper there. And, alright, so, what is, oh, okay, so you, you get a little carrying case. Uh, you know, this is probably what I saw on, if you go to the Amazon uh, page, you can see this in there. I think it, they just add this in here, uh, so you can carry more accessories like uh, your USB Type-C cable or, I don't know, whatever you want. Probably not going to use this, but that's nice that they added that in there. Uh, we got a little silica pack, um, and then we have, yeah, just some labels. Let me take those off real quick. Uh, hold on. There's just a couple cards there. Um, but here's the case here. Inside, there's a, ooh, there's like a really nice, uh, I don't know, like a microfiber type feel. That's really nice. And then here's like some indents for where the Joy-Con would go. And then, oh look at that, there's like a little felt here. That's nice, so that, this would be going onto the screen, so that's really nice that they put that on there. And then up here you can hold, uh, what's that? Uh, eight games. So yeah. And then up here, you can see the cutouts for the, uh, the analogs and the buttons. So let's, let's pop the switch in. All right, so there's my switch. And, alright, goes in, and then, I guess it just in like that. And yeah, I really like that. And just, it's so, th it's really thin, man. There's a ton of cases for the Nintendo Switch, um, but a lot of them tend to be really bulky. Um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, I mean, you can carry... You know, uh, your charger, uh, a battery bank, uh, extra Joy-Con, stuff like that. But for me, really, I only really need to carry my Switch and just a couple of games and I'm good. Um, actually, well, the only other thing that I would probably need is my headphones. But I would just keep those in my pocket anyway. Uh, let's try out those, those game slots here. I'll just take Mario here. And it should just slide in there. Yep. Just like that. Um, they do go... Let's see, let's put another one in there. Yeah. They do go a little bit deep, but you can kind of just wiggle them out. And they're fine. And the same thing on here. Like, the microfiber felt sort of material is on, on here, too. So the back of the carts are going to be fine. Um... So let's, I have a couple other cases I can compare this with. So here's a TomTop case. And then, I forget, I don't know what this case is called exactly, but it was one of the first cases that came out for the Switch. It was like an official uh, Nintendo case or something. It's sort of the same thing. Uh, thin. Let's see if I can get like a... Yeah, so they're both pretty thin. Um... has an extra slot here, games. It does have a sort of stand. Thing is though, it's like a soft shell thing. And when I put my switch in this in this case, um, you can kinda still, you know, press the buttons in. So it, it doesn't feel as safe in this case in my opinion. So that's where I'd pick this one. 
But the case that I was using before was the City Slicker case, which is a really, really nice case. Only thing is, is that it's sort of bulky. Like, you can see how much of a difference that is. Yeah, so for me, this case is probably the best Nintendo Switch case that I've come across so far. Uh, hard shell, really, really thin, very minimalistic. It can hold eight games, and it holds your Switch really nicely. It protects all the buttons, you know, there's cutouts here, the back, you know, the trigger buttons are nice and protected. Everywhere is just hard case. And yeah, it's just a really nice case. Only thing that I would say is probably only have one zipper here. I don't really know why there needs to be two zippers, but that's just me. Um, so if you're looking for a really good Nintendo Switch case and you don't mind paying, uh, you know, 20 bucks, because some cases out there are like nine bucks, eight bucks, and can hold more stuff than this, or even they're even uh, hard shell just like this one, but. I feel like this is a really nice and unique case that a lot more people should get. So, um, yeah, I hope this video helped, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, see you later.